I'm a black man in America, and it's so sad that we still gotta fight for this shit. 400 years of slavery, 400 years of over 400 plus years being oppressed, we still going through the same bullshit. The civil rights movement was, what, barely 60 years ago. And we still fighting for our rights. Shit that Dr. King died for. Shit that Malcolm X died for. You know, we, we can't let people like George Floyd die in vain. We can't let people like Eric Garner die in plain. George, Breonna Taylor, Sandra Bland. The list goes on. A personal friend of mine, Abriel Clark, killed in police custody in Ohio. Come on, they, they had him strapped to a fucking chair. Taser. Defecated on himself. Pistol and stuff, all that. Then they claim he had a medical emergency. Shit ain't right, man. Like, yeah, this shit got me fired up right now. Stevie Wonder said it a long time ago. We don't have to do nothing to you because you cause our own country to fall. So, look it up, Big Brother. Stevie Wonder said it a long time ago. A blind man has seen that in all of us. So don't be caught up in the hype from the White House. Don't get caught up in the Fox News crap. It's propaganda. 400 years. When is enough going to be enough? Because see, we come here to shake them up. Which would protect any officer 
that steps up against police brutality. Nice. Nice. So when I say what's the law, y'all gotta say carry those law as far as I can. So what's the law? What's the law? What's the law? Carrie O. Horn, she's a Buffalo police officer, and she was fired. This woman is one of the most humble persons you ever want to meet in your life. She's a true leader. She's a true fighter. I watched Derek and his family go from sugar to shit because she made the right decision to save somebody's life. Everybody knows that a police officer's job is their choice of occupation. Yep. You choose your occupation. I'm a fashion designer, I chose that. A police officer chooses their occupation. His mom was fired and humiliated for years for doing the right thing. This is outrageous when we stay in the United States of America and the police officers in this country feel as though that they're above the law. There's no one above the law but God. Amen. If you don't see a message and what I'm saying to you, a change has had to come. We don't need any more police officers killing innocent black men. We don't need black men being pulled over, being harassed, being, we're, we're giving cases. Where do we live when we're giving cases? When they're planting drugs in our cars. Cario, Cario Horn and Cario's Law protects officers who stands up, who stand up against injustice. When I say Buffalo, New York, y'all saw the video. Don't pretend that you didn't see the video of them pushing the 75-year-old man to the ground, busting his head. Those are the circumstances that we live in in Buffalo, New York. And we're here to tell everybody, if it's one or two of us from Buffalo, New York, we ain't having that shit. We're standing up, we're doing the right thing, and I encourage you to do the right thing. If you got to lose everything, on this ending note, if you lose everything in life, Know that God will give it back. Look at me! You can't move from the building, you coward! You can't even move! You'll get in trouble! Protect the building, you coward!